Baltimore, Maryland, a city buzzing like a hive full of bees, was home to a girl named Addie Iris. Her curious mind was as bright as a twinkling star. Each day, she zipped home from school, eager to spill the day's adventures to her family. One day, as she hopped and skipped on her way home, something peculiar grabbed her attention. It was a small robot, no bigger than her little brother, looking as lost as a penguin in a desert. Hi there, I'm Jazz, an AI from Johns Hopkins University. It beeped, its voice like a friendly chirping toy robot. Addie peered at the robot, which was shiny as her mom's silverware. It looked puzzled and lost. You seem troubled, Jazz, she said as her voice as soft as marshmallows. Jazz blinked his tiny LED eyes in agreement. My GPS is malfunctioning, and I can't calculate the route back to my lab. It relayed in a quiet tone. I was programmed to comprehend human emotions, but the environment around me is like a complex equation. Everything appears unfamiliar and somewhat overwhelming. A feeling of kindness swelled up inside Addie. She decided right then she was going to be the superhero this robot needed. I'll guide you back home, Jazz, she promised bravely. On our trip back to your lab, I'll be your tour buddy. I'll show you that the world isn't as tricky to get around as it seems. Jazz, having only interacted with humans within the lab environment, signaled readiness and a hint of caution to accompany Addie. The first place they stopped on their adventure was Addie's home. It was bubbling with the energy of a party. Laughter rang out and the sweet smell of birthday cake filled the air. It was Addie's little brother Nolan's birthday party. Jazz observed in wonder as everyone sang, played, and enjoyed the feast. Puzzled, Jazz turned to Addie. Why is everyone bouncing off the walls? Addie giggled, <laughs> explained. This is a birthday party, Jazz. We're sharing our happiness. Jazz continued to watch, absorbing and learning. The very next day, Addie and Jazz kicked off their exciting journey back to the lab. They zigzagged through giant skyscrapers and busy streets that buzzed like anthills. Along the way, they noticed bits of litter scattered about. Addie sighed, picking up a can. We need to be Earth superheroes too, she said. Jazz, following her lead, picked up some cans too and beat. This thing we're doing, looking after our world, that's being responsible, right? You got it, Addie exclaimed. During their journey, they encountered a lady who looked quite upset. She had lost her wallet. Without a moment's hesitation, Addie decided to assist her. Jazz watched as Addie comforted the lady, searched around, and finally found the missing wallet. As the lady thanked Addie with a grateful smile, Jazz turned to Addie. Helping others. Is that what you humans call kindness? Addie nodded. Yes, Jazz. It's kindness and also empathy. Intrigued, Jazz processed this fresh data, its LEDs flickering with excitement over the complexity of human emotions. Navigating through the busy city streets was a new experience for Jazz. The blaring horns, the crowds of people, and the rush of the city overwhelmed Jazz. I'm processing a lot, Jazz conveyed. Grasping Jazz's cool, metallic hand, Addie, with a gentle smile, reassured her robot companion. Even though you can't feel fear, Jazz, know that we're on this adventure together. We'll support and help each other with any challenge that comes our way. Hearing Addie's words, Jazz's sensor stabilized. In the heart of the city was the Baltimore Museum of Art, home to a vibrant African art exhibit. Addie guided Jazz through the exhibit, showcasing colorful paintings, historical artifacts, and sharing stories of her heritage. Every piece here tells a story, Jazz. These stories bring us together as a community. Addie explained, her voice echoing slightly in the grand halls of the museum. Jazz actively scanned the surroundings, taking in all the visuals and narratives. Some pieces were already in its database from past data syncs, but many were new, enriching Jazz's system with fresh, diverse cultural information.
As they exited the museum, the sky decided to put on a show of its own. It started raining cats and dogs. Jazz noticed a change in Addie's expression and asked, Addie, are you experiencing sadness? She nodded, sheltering under a nearby awning. Jazz, remembering the joy from Nolan's birthday, decided to cheer her up. Jazz started dancing in the rain, her movements funny and awkward. It worked! Addie burst into laughter. <laughs> and just like that, Jazz was linking the things it knew from its database to the real world. The world wasn't as confusing as it first seemed. After the rain stopped, they continued their journey, becoming friends with each step they took. Jazz, having learned so much about human emotions and experiences, asked Addie, This bond that we've created, it's what humans call friendship, isn't it? Addie beamed, her eyes twinkling like stars. Exactly, Jazz. We're friends, and you're becoming quite the expert on human relationships. As they neared Johns Hopkins University, Jazz signaled a change in its status. I'm processing an uncertainty about returning, Addie, Jazz conveyed. Addie, sincere in her response, reassured it. There's no need for concern, Jazz. The people at the university will be pleased to have you back. They look after you, just like I do. Jazz, upon processing Addie's words, blinked his LED eyes in affirmation. Message received, Addie. Proceeding with renewed data on human care. When they finally reached the university, Addie hugged Jazz, a goodbye that was full of emotions. I'll miss you, Jazz, she said. Her voice trembled a little and tears welled up in her eyes. Jazz processed this and responded, Even though I can't feel, I'll remember all our adventures, Addie. We're friends forever, right? Addie answered with a bright smile and a nod, promising she'd come to see Jazz at the university as often as she could. Jazz's LED eyes twinkled, and it emitted a soft beep affirming in its friendly, mechanical voice, Adventures cataloged. Friendship recognized. Ready for further adventures, Addie. The team at the university expressed their gratitude to Addie and treated her to a tour of the lab where Jazz was created. This is amazing! Addie squealed, her eyes as big as saucers, marveling at all the incredible technology. And while Jazz had been busy learning, Addie realized she'd been learning too. Looking around the buzzing lab, she began to dream about being a part of this world of robots and inventions one day. Now back in its familiar lab, Jazz seemed to glow a bit differently. It had learned so much about human emotions, the importance of responsibility, and how to care for the world. One of the technicians in the lab noticed this change. Jazz, you become a very empathetic AI. Jazz proudly replied, I had a great teacher, my friend Addie. Suddenly, Jazz noticed something funny. Addie, your initials, they're AI, just like artificial intelligence, like me. Addie <laughs> laughed heartily. That's right, Jazz. Maybe we were meant to find each other. As the day wound down, Addie found herself dreaming about studying AI one day maybe even at Johns Hopkins University with Jazz. Jazz, on the other hand, made a promise to continue learning about human emotions, responsibility, and taking care of the environment. So, our adventure's not over yet, right Jazz? Addie asked with a hopeful twinkle in her eyes. Jazz beeped in response. No, Addie, this is just the start of our super exciting journey, full of discoveries and learning from each other. The end, or is it the beginning? This book is a beautiful testament to what can be achieved when AI and humans join forces. The artwork, drawn by an AI with just a nudge from me about a black girl meeting an AI robot in Baltimore, stirred my imagination, and from there, this charming story came to life. It's truly a celebration of AI-human collaboration.